Jim Forrest, now my next guest for drumming with Motley Crue and for his love life and marriages to Heather Locklear and Pamela Anderson. Oh, my God. Now he's telling his story in the new book, Tommy Land. Please welcome Tommy Lee. Yeah. You and I have so much in common when you think about it. <laughs> we do. Giant penises. Uh, <laughs> ladies love us. I've got the tats, too. You just can't see them. Uh, but what amazed me is we have something in common that no one would ever guess, which is I took tap dancing lessons as a kid just because I thought, I, I swear to God, because uh, I thought you had to know that to be in show business. And, and he's a little kid growing up, you know, in Massachusetts. That's what I wanted to be in show business. <laughs> oh, wow. You took tap dancing lessons, too. Yes, I did. That's it. I don't I, think of Tommy Lee taking tap dancing lessons. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I actually did it because I, I wasn't really kind of the... The uh, you know hang in the in the locker room sports kind of guy right. thing, and so it was it involved being with girls. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll try this. That's great. You you did it to get in you know to to get Ab- in with the ladies. Absolutely incredible. That is Absolutely. not why I chose uh, tap dancing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, oh, man. Uh, but, but anyway, so uh, what what made you what made you stop doing it? Well, uh, eventually after tap dancing, um, I started to do some ballet, and uh, yes, yes, and. And uh, so we do, we do this uh, recital, and a picture runs in the local paper uh, the day after. And the next day at school was absolute hell for me. It was like, dude, yeah, what is this? You know, all right. my peers in school were like, are you gay? Right, right, <laughs> right. So I quit the next day. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that's too bad. Too much the peer pressure. pressure. Because think of the yeah. ballet dancer you could have been. I mean, <laughs> that's too bad that that happened. Now, uh, let's talk about being. A lot of people fantasize about being on tour with uh, a, a huge heavy metal band. Yeah. You've actually gone through this, and uh, you had the experience of women stealing your clothes. Tell me what that's uh, all about. Yeah, we. Uh, I, that happened a lot, actually. Um, you'd be, you know, you're sitting there and you're hanging out with a girl, and as she's walking out, you see the. The, you know, the tail of your you know, leather coat sticking out the back. They would like, steal, should steal your leather coat just as like a memento. Uh, yeah, un- underwear, and, and everything. All kinds of stuff was stolen. It's crazy. How did they steal your underwear if... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you guys were just hanging out chatting. Um, so what do you do? Would you stop them? Did you have like, was it tagged like at the gap? Would, would an alarm go off? I mean, how would you, what would you do when you caught a woman stealing your clothes? I would just grab it. Just, just grab it. Right. Yeah. Say, dude, that not cool. Yeah, not cool. Out. Out. <laughs> out. Out. I like that. Get out! Out. out. Same um, stuff happens at the Simpsons, by the way. Does it? Oh, yeah. I can imagine. People walking out, girls walking out with our clothes. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Crazy. In that, <laughs> in that record room, it's pretty insane. Yeah. <laughs> girls... Grabbing acoustical tile. Uh, <laughs> those were those were pretty hot times, Hank. Uh, now let's talk about your house. Okay. okay, you you have a house that you have customized in some very interesting ways. Yes, you've turned it into what you call an adult playground. Absolutely, with certain toys. Yeah, go. Um, Tell me. Okay. go. Talk, uh, Tommy Lee. Uh, talk. Well, there's all all kinds of fun stuff. Um, Movie theater. Uh, there's there's a couple of swings. Swings. Let's talk about the swings. Okay. You have swings in your in your house. Yeah. There's a there's a big giant one that's over the piano, and then there's one in the bedroom. It's a it's called a Chinese basket. And, I've heard of the Chinese basket. And, yeah. and it doesn't. It doesn't how does hold it work? Food. How does the Chinese? Yeah, it doesn't hold food yet. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's for it's for holding produce in case I get hungry. I, I tell my kids. Um, it's a, um, what? You I tell my a, kids it's a plan hanger. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah. It's a good way to be able to talk yeah. to... It's important to know how to talk to your child about the hanging sex chair yeah. in the bedroom. <laughs> so what, so, so the, the, the Chinese hanging sex chair, I don't want to get crass here, but how does something like that even work, and where do I get one? Uh, <laughs> um, well, just the first question is, how does it work? <laughs> we'll talk um, after the show, but I got one. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. Um, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's on this kind of three-point system where the, 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 the legs are strapped in here that goes to some chains onto the ceiling. It kind of goes back into a Y and another chain I'm goes just picturing you the... having your own This Old House program. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, I'm Tommy Lee. We're here in this Victorian mansion and first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a 9 by 4 in here. It's going to be heavy enough to hold the Chinese sex chair. <laughs> How's that work coming along? <laughs> and uh, so this is, it's a good thing to have around the house, it's, right? It's awesome and I've got it strategically placed where it's sort of this James Bond kind of thing where you press a button and this mirror closes over the bathtub. 
and then there's another mirror so you can get a nice side view. That's the kind. If there was, a, if I had a, yeah, you know, because you, you gotta have a side view. Come on. <laughs> if I had a side view, I would never stop laughing. Uh, <laughs> you're like, look at that! Oh my God! Uh, it's incredible. You have a, a mirror that closes over the bathtub. That would ha- I would be killed. I'd be in there with like my rubber duck, and I'd hit the button, and <laughs> my head would be locked off. My God. <laughs> Incredible. Inc- my house is for sale, actually. You, you might be interested. I'll yeah, that sounds perfect for me. Yeah. Except I'd just be in the chair alone going, Wee! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> and you'd come by, dude, not the point. <laughs> this isn't a good look. Um, all right. I wish we had more time. you got to come back, because we have so I, much to talk about. I'd and love to come back. You're a terrific guest. Uh, Tommy Land, your story, uh, which is very, again, very similar to my own. Uh, <laughs> By look the way, for, look for Times, Coneyland. New York Times bestseller, by the way. I'm now officially a New York Times bestseller author. Congratulations. Thank you. Every man has a story, they say. Tommy Lee, thank, thank you, you so much for being here. We'll be right back with Jack. Stick around.